the story of debut US Marshal Bess Reeves and Michael Jordan of Frontier Lawman. In the lore of the American West where heroes are made for both lawmen and the lawless, there is the story of a man as tough as Billy the Kid, as good with a gun as Will Card Hick Cobb, and as fast as horse on the Pony Express. As 6-4-2 deputy was Marshal Bess Reeves was so imposing as his Musashi, so strong it was said if he spit on the whip, it would shatter. He was like the Michael Jordan of Frontier Lawman, said biographer Art Bruton. He could whip any two men when his, uh, with his bare hands. Reeves, around, uh, uh, Reeves uh, reomed the art of the Indian and Oklahoma territories almost with impunity, a nightmare for any law outlaw, said Bruton, an American American studies expert. When I, I was doing the research, I was shaking my head all the time, saying people are not going to believe this, he said. You would think a well uh, West story like that uh, would almost tell itself, but when Burton began rustling up research for a book on Reeves, he kept writing that ends like when he tried to trace the base Reeves family tree. A lady answered the phone and she said she'd never heard of him, said Burton. I said, well, he's a African, African American who was a deputy U.S. Marshal, and she was very kind about it. She says, Sir, I am sorry we did not keep black people's history here. Before I was a lawman, Reeves was a fugitive run- a runaway slave from Texas. The former slave eventually made a name for himself by arresting white people, no less, and yet his extraordinary story had largely been as forgotten as a ghost town, and Oklahoma says his time has come. One man said he is the stuff of legend. I could not imagine him being white and having the kind of career he had and it uh, not to be a major motion picture already maybe several times over. To edit David Oil over the tale of Bess Reeves as a time ingredients as a Lone Ranger only better. It's one thing to be a white guy with a mask riding a pretty demon. Wonderful loss, he said. It's another thing to be uh, to be doing that with limited resources. You're the black man coming out of insolvent and you do it for 30 plus years and no one is paying your any, uh, you, you any attention. It sort of is intentional almost that we don't know more about him. Oil over talked with Sunday morning this past spring about uh, about trying to correct history's omission by acting in an executive producing an eight-part series for Paramount plus CBS sister network called Lom and Bass Reeves. It's a massive production shot mostly on a ranch in Texas with veteran actors like Donald Sutherland and Dennis Kyle. It's great to do a Western man said Kyle. It's like being 12 years old again. It's real. It is real. It really is. Kyle was equally impressed with Reeves' real uh, life loyalty to the law. The thing was that Bess Reeves really was a real deal. He really was that. Oilo said he studied recordings of slam narratives found in the Library of Congress to get his speech patterns just right. He also learned to rope uh, and write. He, I am always looking for opportunities to scare myself, and that really did it. He loved. He uh, had his share of insights into the man Reeves must have been, but the role was also a reminder that no matter how long, uh, how long it, it takes, light always illuminates greatness. I, and uh, in it, I, li- my, uh, I live my life by is that excellence is the best weapon against prejudice and uh, said oil over. He was excellent. It was difficult to just say, oh, that's a black man who is unworthy, who should, uh, who should be subjugated. You couldn't dismiss him that if, in that way and that's also the reason uh, why, to, uh, why to not celebrate him is wrong. Base Reeves left Toby 71 spending his final years in the frontier town of Muskogee where at the Three Rivers Museum Reeves is still remembered and celebrate, uh, celebrated every year at the Base Reeves Western History Conference. No one knows where Reeves is buried and maybe that only adds uh, to the most uh, for Art Burton that doesn't matter uh, the child in him wants to thank Reeves for giving him another black American's trip of the head to a legend all their own. I used to always wonder where were we, uh, we in a story of the old west, said Burton. Uh, so it's like God answered my prayers by giving me somebody before I passed away that said, well, we were part of the scene too.